A really great feature in Edge Animate is that most of the text properties can be animated. Now, if we look at our text here, we can look at our properties and see that it's at 24 pixels, but we can actually animate this over time. So I'm going to add a keyframe simply by clicking our button. And now I'm going to move my playhead just a little bit out to maybe two seconds. I have my auto keyframes turned on at this moment, meaning that any change that I make here, it's going to automatically add another keyframe. So I'm going to bring this up to about 32. Now I'm going to press my spacebar just to see this animate. Now this looks a little bit jumpy and that's mainly because we're looking at it inside of the program Edge Animate. I'm going to do one additional change here. At the very beginning, the text is black. So I'll set a keyframe here and we'll move our playhead to the end. And I'll click here to change this to a red. So now to play this, I'm going to hit the space bar. You can see that's changed over time. And we can even go in and change our line height. I'm going to add a keyframe here, go to the end. Space this out a bit. And let's go to the beginning and we'll even space out how our letters are. So let's go to the end and we'll space the letters out a little bit. Now this is going off the page a bit, so we'll just test this out real quick. Let's do command return and we'll look at this in the browser. All right, so let's go back to animate. So one of the last things I wanna do, so this doesn't appear so choppy, is I'm going to select all of our keyframes here. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit quicker. So let this happen over one second. And I also wanna do something called easing. Now, what easing means is something is going to either be slow at the beginning or slow at the end. So it's going to gradually pick up speed. So I'll simply click on our easing button here. And I want this to ease out, meaning it's gonna be faster at the beginning and then slow at the end. So I'm selecting Quart for our ease out. And I want to click just once on our timeline. And now I'm gonna test this out. So do Command Return, Control Enter on PC. And that plays a lot smoother. We've one, changed how quickly it comes out, and two, we've added in some easing. I'm gonna reload this page. And I think we'll change one last thing to make this a little more dramatic. At the beginning, instead of this being at 24 point, I'm gonna make this even smaller. And now if we test our movie, and there you have it. We've controlled the line height as well as the text color and the text size. And we've done this over time and even added in some easing, all without doing any code at all.